The fact remains that no matter how much care that goes into producing coffee, eventually mycotoxins make its way through the supply channel. And these mycotoxins may or may not be talked about in various countries, but there are regulations in countries that this is a major concern. So Japan being uh, one of the, the higher standard bearers of mycotoxin testing, and the EU and Europe being the second of those. Uh, the US has not, not seen this as an issue to the point that they want to test for it, which has caused the, uh, you know, the influx of uh, coffees that are infected with my, uh, ochre toxin A or mycotoxins to make a channel into that into our country. They're not rejected at port, they're brought through, and that uh, you know, has a potential problem for the supply channel for American consumers. It's an easy fix problem because it's something that can be fixed with regulation, testing upon import, and, uh, and it's an easy fix that just has not become on the radar of the U.S. government, which should be a concern to people because it's a real problem, it does exist, and, uh, and we test for it uh, and see it all over the world where we produce coffee. The United States can easily test for this. We, could, we, should, be, uh, we should have standards that are equal to or better than that of the other G8 countries that have been testing for this for years. It's a simple fix, it's something we should do, and it's time that we start acting on that.